Hey guys, before we get to the video, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck. Actually on my way to a call here and wanted to do a quick video talking about package units versus split systems. Um, and what I'm talking about is if you've ever seen those really big units on the outside of a house, uh, they look, you know, three, four times bigger than, a, you know, a condenser sitting out there. And basically it's an all-in-one deal. You know, you run your duct out to it and versus having copper line sets running between the outdoor unit and the indoor unit, whether it be a furnace or an air handler. And so I wanted to do a real quick video because I was talking to a lady and we were talking about, you know, the pros and cons of each. And, and there are some pros and cons, but here's the thing. Every house is different. There is no, and that's why they make these two different styles. Uh, you know, there is no end all. You know, there's no one particular system that will make every single customer happy with every single home. And so because of that, um, let's start with you know, we're going to talk about both, but let's start with package units. And, you know, with a package unit, you can, these days, you can come out the, the, the back of the unit or you can come out the bottom of the unit. So, you know, you'll see different applications. Um, I would say in my area, the majority, now we do have a couple customers. We just did one last week where we came, we, it was up on a platform and then we came out the bottom of the unit to run into the ductwork going into the house. But I would say the majority of the systems that package units that we work on in uh, Virginia and, and more particularly, we're, we're kind of on the coast of Virginia. And that is, if they have a package unit, typically they're gonna come out the back of the unit. There, again, there's pros and cons. So let's 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 say let's start with the number one uh, thing to think about, and you know, I would say it's a con with a package unit, and that is that unit. It, it contains your quote unquote air handler, your fan motor, all that stuff to blow the air through there, and of course your evaporator coil, and that is that unit is exposed to the elements. It's sitting outside. Uh, it's sitting out there. If it's, if it's really hot or it's really cold, it, it, it would, in, in some situations, if you can avoid that, you know, if you can have an air handler or a furnace with coil in, in the crawl space or attic or in the home itself and avoid that, that is a good thing, you know, by default, most package units are just, if you're comparing apples to apples, less efficient because of that. But with that said, there are times we have a few, one in particular, I can think of one customer in particular where it would not make sense to do a split system and you know, there's a couple of reasons for that. There's, there's tight crawl spaces. Maybe you just simply don't have the room. Maybe your crawl space, you've had moisture issues. There is no attic, so you don't, you know, you can't put it up there or there's not enough room. And, you know, just situations like that where, you, you know, you have to do a package unit and just run the ductwork in. Of course, you know, it's done all the time. I would say, it, it, especially these newer houses where they're having encapsulated crawl spaces, conditioned crawls, things like that, I think it's a no-brainer. You know, you're getting it out of the attic. You don't have to worry about leaks coming through your ceiling. You're getting it out of the hot attic in, in the summer. And you're putting it in a space, if, if you were to put it in a conditioned crawl space, that it doesn't have to fight that battle. It's not sitting outside with the package unit and the elements, but it's also not sitting in the attic where it could be exposed to the elements. So 
you know, those are no-brainers, I, I feel like. Uh, if you have a, a nice, spacious, conditioned crawl space, no-brainer. That's where, in my opinion, it would make sense. Even better, having it located in the home. If, they're, if they have somewhere in the home that you could, you could put it, you know, in a, a utility closet or some sort of mechanical room, even better. But, you know, every house is different. So that would be the first thing I would, I would say, just talking about elements, you know, the, the elements that it would be or would not be exposed to, depending on where it's located. The second thing is efficiencies. So if we just take SEER, for example, Let's just talk about SEER, Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. It's currently how a lot of our systems are measured on how efficient they are, the cooling side anyway. And, you know, I've done other videos and there's other videos on YouTube that talk about how SEER is, is disappearing. Check out that video, I'll put a link to that right up here. Um, and, and why that is, why it's not necessarily always the best measurement to consider. But with that said, let's just, let's use that for, an, for this example. And, and I would say with most manufacturers, most major manufacturers, and there's different reasons for this, I would say the number one reason is market share, you know, how much they're selling it. But Anyway, most manufacturers don't sell an extremely high sear package unit. They just don't even make it. It's not that they make it, but you don't want to pay for it. They simply just don't even make it. It, it doesn't exist with some of the major manufacturers. You, you know, you're looking at 14, 15, 16, maybe 17 sear with some brands. I know Bosch has a 19 sear and that especially when it came out was like groundbreaking you know and let's be honest the way the industry is moving the way they're starting to crack down and put more and more regulations on these systems they're gonna have to start making changes you know uh, just a couple years ago they made the, the minimum standard nationwide 14 sear on heat pumps and I think 13 sear on air conditioners so that that's something to consider you know if you're looking for a very efficient system you want to keep that those utility bills down uh, you're not going to be able to do that with a package unit so if you have the choice it's kind of a no-brainer because you just simply can't you know if you if you're looking at some of these major manufacturers and you're like well you know i don't want to settle for anything less than 18 sear or I really want an inverter system because they're more efficient they don't exist they simply don't make one because there's not enough demand in the market for them at least that's what I've been told I've been told by some of I'm like you know I'm competing I'm you know I've got another company giving them quotes and and I'm giving them quotes why don't, why don't we have you know a system that's higher efficiency or you know higher sear whatever and they just simply don't make them because there's not there, there's not enough demand uh, a lot of these manufacturers their package unit sales in comparison to other types of systems it's a percent it's a lower percentage you know you're looking at 10 20 percent of their sales and they're not seeing a de enough of a demand for them to engineer and create a higher sear system. That's a couple of things to think about as you're deciding where you want to locate this system. I think the last thing I'll throw at you is just simply uh, decibels or noise levels of some of the systems. Just check that out, if that, especially if that's a concern, if the, if the outdoor unit is, is going to have to be located near a bedroom or something like that in, in, in your home. That's another thing to consider as you're, you know, considering all this. So I, I think there's other variables, other things you should consider, things you should talk to your, your contractors about. I would say a, a lot of your contractors are going to be able to give you some guidance, some pros and cons, especially in your market that, that I have not touched on. Uh, those are, are, whether it be they're in a 
more colder climate or warmer climate. There's always different variables. Uh, here in Virginia, we're mild half of the year, and then you know we do have hot days and we have cold days. So it's kind of all over the place, and we've got to consider all that. So again, the last thing I would say is just consider the noise levels. I I can say that I've had a few homes. In fact, the home that I live in had a package unit when I bought the house. It was on this platform and it went in and I was able to pull all that ductwork back into the, the crawl space and seal up that hole. And then one of my guys, Sears, actually installed the air handler inside and, and we made that work. But you know, every house is different. If you're in our market in the Northern Neck or Middle Peninsula of Virginia, then give us a call. We'd love to earn your business. We'll give you a free estimate. Uh, we'll give you the best warranty in the area. Uh, if you're not in our market, if you're you know somewhere else in the country, in the world, uh, and you are looking for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, you have to check out my new website, newhvacguide.com. And what it is, is I put all kinds of stuff on there that a lot of contractors and manufacturers don't even want you to know I'm putting it on that website I've got a whole page called no-nos things to stay away from and you know things that hopefully the goal if you were to follow this guide would provide you with less headaches had you not followed the guide so check that out I'll put a link to that down below thanks for watching please subscribe